letter to the zoo this morning. Good. Mail. Says, I've been a loyal listener to the Denver Morning Zoo. I'm writing this letter to tell all of you how much I enjoy listening to you in the morning. Mm -hmm. I hope uh, you and the zoo crew won't change your time slot with any other show at Y108. You really get me started in the morning. You always had and you always will. Aww. Nice letter. Mm -hmm. Yay. Goes on to say... <laughs> Here it comes, huh? <laughs> I will write a letter to Jim Gregory. <laughs> There's points. This is your offstage announcer, General Manager Jim Gregory. <laughs> I will write a letter to Mr. Gregory and threaten him to give you all a raise. Yeah. All right. The last four times I did something like that, <laughs> the person got fired. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about getting fired. I know how to threaten him so good you'll get a healthy raise. <laughs> True letter, and I don't know who that's from, but that was a little scary, I think. Yeah. Signed yours truly, X. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see what happens on that. Talk to my wife about this. You bet. Hail to the chief. All right, on line one, hotline from the stars and other well-known celebrities around the world. Good morning. Good morning, is this Chuck Poole? Uh, Buell? Buell, that's right. Yes, Mr. President, sorry, it is. I can't read my own handwriting. I want to call about, I got a joke for Waterworld. Yeah, jokes for Waterworld, sure. Yeah, but the first thing, I got a bad news, uh, good news story. Uh-oh, we got to get an update here on uh, the world today. Bad news and good news. What is the yeah, bad the news? Yeah, the bad news is, well, that's from Congress. They just cut my defense budget by $17 million, Chuck. I can't uh, relate to large numbers of money like that. Talk to me in layman's terms. What's that going to mean to me? All right, well, in layman's terms, uh, that means our fighting men will have to do without 12 hammers, six toilet seats, three ashtrays, and a coffee pot. <laughs> yeah, I believe that. <laughs> now, the good news... I found some remote location to store our MX missiles, a place where no one ever goes anymore. Well, that might make sense. Where? A Denver goal game. Oh, oh, Mr. Oh, President! That's a, that's a little joke, just yeah. a small one. <laughs> yeah, it sure is. Incidentally, I, I found a way that we can help the farmers of our country and also our national defense. Do you want to know about that? Oh, help them both at the same time? At the same time. How would we do that? We're going to store the MX missiles in all the silos. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not no, going to work. I'm just kidding. About yeah, I know. What's your... Here's my joke for Waterworld. Yeah. A what's seven feet tall and dusts furniture? Wait a minute. We should know this one. What's seven feet tall and <laughs> dusts furniture? Uh, give up. What? Will Chambermaid. <laughs> oh, it's terrible. Uh, uh, I think he liked it, hon. <laughs> we'll have to think about it. <laughs> All right, we'll do All it. Right. I'll tell you what, Mr. President, your Waterworld tickets are in the mail. Yeah. Oh, they're in the mail? Yeah. Oh, good. So is your income tax return. <laughs> it's about time. Yeah, put that in your pipe and smoke it. <laughs> Give Lucky my regards. I will. Lucky Chuck says hello. <laughs> oh, he says hi. <laughs> <laughs> Terrific. Well... I've got to go, Chuck. I've got other important things to take care of. Have a good day, Mr. President. You too, and thanks for calling. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember who called who on that one. <laughs> it's a minute after 8 o'clock here at the new Y108 FM at AM 1600. And it's 52 degrees in Denver. I'm John DeWayne with the Y108 information update. Now, yesterday, a very busy day at the National Weather Service with high-level thunderstorms, the order of the afternoon.